So, Mark Parsons, welcome uh, and congratulations. You're the new head coach for the Dutch women's national team. How does that feel? What's your first reaction? Yeah, it feels uh, incredible to be a part of of a team that's achieved uh, some special results, but also knowing that, that this team has so much ambition um, and the future uh, the future looks incredible to to be to join this project, to be a part of something that that is is really pushing boundaries in the women's game. Is, yeah, something that I've dreamt of and, and, and honoured with this opportunity. Well, you've been working in women's football for a while now, uh, but for the people who don't really know you, could you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about what you've done so far? Yeah, I uh, worked at Chelsea Football Club, um, coaching boys, girls uh, and women uh, up until 2010, moved to the US. Um, within a couple of years, I was working with Washington Spirit when the NWSL joined. We had two and a half very successful years um, there before got a phone call from Portland um, and now been in Portland for six years working with with yeah what I think is the, the pinnacle of club football in the women's game. Um, the players, the front office, the, the general manager, the owner. Um, yeah, this this is a, this is a stadium that puts 20 to 25,000 people in every home game. And uh, it's it's a place where where football is life and the passion and the feeling and the connection is is so real. Um, yeah, it's 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 been home and it's become family and become you know will always be family to me. And yeah, it's uh, we've had some special memories. We've had some really tough moments together as well. But we always find a way to move forward. And now it's time for a new new uh, uh, new journey. And uh, hopefully, I can I can grab some people from the U.S., some some Portland fans to to wear orange in uh, during the summer maybe and and, and over the next few years. Uh, 2017 during the Euros, seeing the streets of of Holland filled with orange and filled with people. Um, I I love women's football so much, and and I've I've been fortunate. I've been in a country like the US that really believes and gets behind their their women's teams. Um, and seeing seeing another country in the world, it's the only second country that I've ever seen come out, get in the streets, support with with thousands of people. Yeah, I was it's goosebumps. Um, this was a place where, and I just wanted to get on a plane and be there and be a part of the magic. I'm, yes, I love coaching and I love players and teams and building teams, but I'm a, I, I love this game first as a fan, and and seeing uh, Dutch people enjoy that moment with their with their women's team was was incredible. And it's a huge credit to the players and the staff because their connection, not just with their their quality of football, but their connection as people was very genuine and and even I could feel that and and just wanted to cheer for this team wanted to believe and and and, and enjoy the ride with them and I'm just a guy in in the US um you know coaching a club team but uh it's it's been an inspiration I know they they've captured many hearts over the last few years and of course that's a big responsibility we have going forward to to continue to do that so how did this come about when did you get the call how did it happen yeah, I think uh, some creative people, um, because at first, um, yeah, how does the KMVP call, call a guy in the US um, coaching coaching a club team? I think I think for most people, um, they probably weren't expecting me um, to leave the opportunity that I'm currently doing. Um, we we are, yeah, we are really really close, and we've built something very very special. Um, but when when one of the leading nations who develops some of the best players in the women's and men's game, some of the very best coaches um, on the women's and men's game calls you, um, yeah, it's, it's a unique opportunity and something that I absolutely was intrigued with. Um, and, you know, in tied with that, you know, my wife, uh, she's done this a few times in, in, in my career. When you get a phone call and you see the smile and you look in the eye and um, for her to be able to know she could get closer to family and, and after what's been a really tough year without being able to see family as much as we not, normally do, to be to be so close to family in England will be will be important to us. And yeah, I think yeah, she's already has the face paint. She already has the orange clothes. My seven year old daughter is ready to 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 join join the thousands of people and, and make sure that they are adding to the energy and adding to the intensity to, to push this team over the line. Yeah, you, you're going to start in September, uh, right after the Olympics, but you're also going to finish the season with the Portland Torrents. What's your schedule going to look like? Yeah, um, it's not ideal, um, but it's for a very, very short time. Uh, it's non-negotiable for me. I can't, you know, when you when you have family and, and you have this connection 
with with who you work with, you can't turn your back on them. And I was never going to leave halfway through the season. Um, and the the way that the staff is built with with uh, the Netherlands is is everyone is important, everyone is critical. Um, this is a very experienced staff with with Jessica uh, uh, moving together. I have no doubt that we will be able to handle and prepare and and get ready for this very important period of qualifiers. Um, yeah, for me, I have to stay focused on day by day. I have a few more 5 a.m. Uh, mornings than I used to, to to get some hours in before before my working day in the U.S. begins. And yeah, excited for that. Excited for that challenge. And while um, while it is a challenge, it's a short time. And and yeah, I'm I'm ready for that and look forward to the collaboration with the staff. Yeah, you're going to start with the qualifiers, but you're also going to do the Euros in England. Talking about going back home, how are you looking forward to that? Um, yeah, it's it's one step at a time and one game at a time. Right now, the qualifiers uh, in September is is the most important. Um, yeah, look, getting the binoculars out and looking ahead a bit. Uh, yeah, Euros in England. Yeah, I already I already can picture the friends and the family, the English friends and family that are going to be in orange. Um, I'm sorry, Netherlands, but you're going to have some crazy English fans supporting you guys. And uh, I hope they they don't um, they don't hurt your reputation. They may do, but um, they will be there with us. And yeah, to to be able to feel the energy um, of of uh, the Dutch supporters combined with some extra English supporters is is exciting. And what what an opportunity and honor for me to be able to coach such a um, world leading team and uh, in my home country. Um, yeah, against against a lot of top countries and. Of course, the writing is on the wall. I, I bet you a lot of money that we'll full face England at some point and Serena and the, yeah, the, the fairy tale is already written and yeah, be looking forward to that opportunity and challenge when it comes.